so where do I begin? This is my 4.4 litre L322 Range Rover. I'm jumping on the L322 bandwagon, getting lots of content. Here she is. So to give a bit of background about the car, um, it's, it's done 159,000 miles. I bought the car um, in December last year. Um, quite a few people have seen it online and quite a few people have messaged me saying they actually tried to buy the car or tried to buy the car, um, but they didn't like the dealer. Um, I thought the dealer was very good. Um, what work needs doing to the car? Well, it doesn't have an MOT. It arrived here on a trailer. Um, Front tyres, definitely. It probably needs front discs and pads. Um, the brake lines are currently burst. I have some new brake lines in the back of the car. Yeah, so the, these are the brake lines that go from the, from the front of the car to the back of the car. They're currently burst, so all the brake fluid has leaked out. Um, so the first job, which is probably the most important, is to replace these brake lines. Um, I've already got some second-hand front tyres to replace, so they're currently in, in the barn over there, ready to go on. Um, that's probably about it. Front tyres, system pads, brake lines. Paint. Um, there, yeah, well, I need to polish the cleaner. I haven't cleaned it since I got it. Um, and there are a few things like suspension bushes on the rear um, that I probably will need to do because they were flagged on the last MOT 10,000 miles ago. Come with me on this L322 bandwagon journey. Why oh, is there a stick up there? Up there. Up by the windscreen wiper. That? Yeah. It's rust. Oh, it's rust. <laughs> I know that's cracked, but hang on one second. And just delivered from uh, eBay right now a new light for the rear. Look at that. Light new. Light, yeah. It's light new. <laughs> Fitting video coming soon. Um, yeah. And I might replace the rear wiper as well because it looks like a sticker going to town. I think it's time we heard some revs because everyone wants to know what the V8 sounds like. You're never late in a V8 unless the brake pipes are burst, <laughs> which you're always late. This is the engine of a 4.4 TD V8. It looks pretty messy now, because uh, it hasn't been cleaned. And also, there's no top cover. There's meant to be a cover over here, um, but when I bought the car, it didn't have a cover. I've looked on eBay and they're 100 pounds, so am I gonna buy one? No. <laughs> this is the air filter for the small turbo. Easy to place. This is the air filter over here for the big turbo. That's the oil filter there in the middle. So unscrew, new oil filter on. So I will be doing a service because it probably needs it. This here is obviously where the oil goes in, self-explanatory. You pull off this here, pull it off. Let's have a look. And basically then you put your oil pump or, you know, squidgy pump on there to suck all the oil out of the engine. So when you service these cars, you don't actually need to go underneath them, which I'm quite looking forward to. Although I do need to do a service on all the diffs, the gearbox, the transfer box, and that will require me going underneath them. The cabin filter for the engine's behind here. So all of that will be coming off, and then I will be inspecting the oil cooler, which is behind the back of the engine, because I think a known issue on these cars is they leak oil, leak, oil cooler leaks and leaks oil into the coolant. Does it smell of oil? Hmm, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's, there is coolant somewhere down there. Somewhere. It doesn't say very cool, though. Does the aircon work? I have absolutely no idea. It's the winter. Who puts the aircon on in the winter? What colour is it? What colour is the car? Good question. Wow. So the car is actually Galway green, something I didn't think it would be. I thought it was Epsom. I thought it was Epsom green. You learn something new every day. Um, it's Galway green. I don't know if that's a rare colour or not. I've actually got a green TD6 L322, so I'm going to look in the same place to see what colour that is, because again, I don't know. Um, one, one more thing, people who know a bit about these cars, 
I know that the viscose fan here is only meant to come on when the car's hot. However, this car, as soon as you start it up, the fan starts running. So it takes, a, when you're idling, it takes a while for the engine to get up to temperature. Should that happen? Because on my TD6, the fan only comes on when it gets hot. That was the first job on the car, replacing these gas struts, um, 20 pounds off eBay for the, for the front gas struts and the gas struts for the boot. I think that's pretty good. Um, and they are very strutty. That sound is what gets me out of bed in the morning. <laughs> wow. Now let me show you around the inside of the car. Carry on driver. Oh wait, I am the f***ing driver. <laughs> As you can see, I have the lovely tan interior. I've owned a L322 TD6 for about four years and it's green with tan interior. And I was desperate, well not, well not desperate, but I really wanted to buy a TDV8 green with tan interior. Um, when, when this one came up I had to buy it and here it is. It needs some work, obviously. Um, but it's actually, for 159,000 miles, it's pretty good inside. Um, what I did notice is that the leather in this car is not as good quality as the leather in my TD6. Which is interesting, maybe it's something to do with now, this car's obviously a Ford Jaguar Land Rover, where the other one's a BMW Jaguar Land Rover, different type of leather they used to make it. Um, and interesting, the seats in this one, on the front, don't have as much adjustability as the TD6 seats. But I think it's because the TD6 seats came out of the BMW 7 Series, where this one, these ones don't. Um, but this is a nicer place to be because it's got Harman Kardon speakers and it's got the TDV8 engine, which I'm desperate to use. Um, do you want to join me in the front? Well, here's the front. Flappy paddles, um, heater steering wheel, heater seats. Yep, all, all the things you'd expect. Um, I do, do have to say that this, you know, this position here, although the seat doesn't move as much, is, is a nicer place to be than the TD6. Um, I do love the TD6, so I'll never sell it, but it does feel a bit, a bit agricultural compared to this. So thanks for watching our first video. I hope you enjoyed the brief overview of the TD V8 and uh, look forward to much more content to come. Hopefully you can join us on the journey on the L322 bandwagon. Come on! <laughs> Should we get the portion?